All right, everybody, it's been a while since I turned on the camera. Probably, what, six, good six months or so and everything. Um, I've been face-to-face -face with the camera. But a lot's happened. It's been an interesting winter and uh, even more interesting spring. But not a lot's been going on, so I haven't filmed that much. But anyway, um, field day is this weekend, so I figured I'll turn on the camera for a little bit, talk about a few things, do a few things, and maybe get back in the swing of things. So here we go. First off, as you can tell, um, I'm using a different camera. I'm using an old uh, Kodak ZI-8. I'm filming in 720, 60 frames, because I kind of have a thing for 60 frames right now. But we went uh, up to the Omaha Zoo the other day and everything. I wasn't sure this thing was going to make it, but um, it did it surprisingly well. But um, I decided to pick up one of these off of Facebook Marketplace. I got this one for 15 bucks. Can you believe that? It's a Cobra 19 DX4. I think they sell for about 40 or 45 bucks up at Walmart. This one was still in the package and everything it hadn't even been opened. So I hooked that one up here and everything just for like, you know, Challenge 19, truckers, uh, entertainment, shit talking, all that fun stuff and everything. But we went up there and everything and I ended up just plugging my phone into the cigarette lighter adapter here and I didn't even plug that in. But it does work. Um, I also got a cheapy antenna cheapy Walmart antenna of course I, it's a Walmart uh, it's a radio sort of a Walmart but I uh, I mean 15 bucks and everything in town the things only pushing probably about three or four watts and everything it's okay it's nothing special and everything um, the one in the back here I'm not sure what name brand that is and everything but I got that from a friend about three or four years ago um, it's supposed to be for for uh, two meters VHF. I don't know if it's dual band or not. I haven't even tested it, but I noticed this in the coax here. There's a few splices in the coax here that I taped up and everything, and I'm not sure how it's doing. But I don't have an SWR meter uh, for uh, two meters, so I do have it hooked up to my Baofeng here, but I only run the Baofeng even on high that's only what four or five watts so it shouldn't hurt it and that's just what i've recently been doing inside the car uh, my office at home and everything that's a different story a longer story